1108. You know, I could have you sanctioned for being late to a settlement conference. Tanner, what the hell are you doing here? And how the hell did you insinuate yourself with Ava Hessington? Jealous? No, I just thought Hessington was in the oil business, not the snake oil business. Ha <laughs> ha, they diversified. Where's Ava? Ava's not here because she's not interested in your offer to testify against Edward Darby. I'm not the one who did this to her. Aren't you? Didn't you pull your typical bullshit to get the original attorney thrown off this case? To win the damn case. Well, instead of winning it, it led to Ava being charged with murder. A charge I got her off of by finding the people who were actually responsible. Sorry, Harv, but that's not enough. And Ava has no intention of letting you off the hook. Ava? Or you? We both know you tracked her down because of your lifelong never gonna happen dream to beat me. I never heard of Ava Hessington until she walked through my door. Bullshit. You have a subscription to Harvey Specter Monthly, and I know it. <laughs> okay, you got me. I knew exactly who she was the second she walked through my door. My chance to take your lunch money. Well, let me make you an advance payment. Why don't you use this to call your mom and tell her to get the tissues ready? Because you're 0 and 2 against me, and the O isn't the number that's going to change. Tanner's opposing Harvey. We need to talk about it. Who's going to handle it? I am. I don't want to step on your toes, but don't we want to consider outside counsel? We've gone down that road before. Turns out Harvey doesn't play well with others. Don't I know it. But I still think it's a good idea to have outside counsel in that room. I don't think it's a good idea to have anyone else in that room. So you brought me in here to tell me that you don't want me to be a part of it? I brought you in here to tell you to keep your cool. I appreciate the condescending words of wisdom, but I've sat in on about a thousand depositions and I've never broken a sweat. You've never sat in one with Travis Tanner. You're gonna need a thick skin, because he's gonna try to get under it. I'm not the one being deposed. Doesn't matter. Last time he deposed Harvey, it ended with Harvey punching him in the face. That's Harvey, not me. And if Harvey hadn't done it, I might have. What are you talking about? Tanner knew all about Harvey's mother. Came with a whole story about how I'm Harvey's mother and what Harvey wants to do to his mother. And that story was bull I get it. He's not gonna need a bull story with me. You're early. So are you. I should have known something like this was coming when you left without saying a word. What did you expect? A fruit basket for getting me out of a crime your firm committed? Ava, I know Travis Tanner fed you a line to get your business, but... Mr. Tanner didn't feed me anything. This is the result of your actions. Wait a second. You really did go to him? I looked into you when I was deciding to hire you. You think I wouldn't do the same thing again when I decided to come after you? When you looked into me, you found out that whatever I do, I do it to win, and that's all I ever did for you. What you did was intimidate people, and what it did was backfire onto me. Well, now i found someone you can't intimidate, and it's backfiring onto you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I don't need to be here for this. So you came here just to vent at me? I came here to see if you were at all sorry about the way you handled my case. I see that you aren't. Though I imagine you will be once Mr. Tanner gets through with you. Feels like old times. A lot of good memories in this room. Bring back the taste of blood in your mouth? Oh, I'm a shark, Harvey. I love the taste of blood. Speaking of which, when you accepted this case, did you make a side deal with Edward Darby where he agreed to make you managing partner over Jessica Pearson if you won? Yes, I did. But that isn't a side deal. That's an incentive. What it is, is a conflict of interest. That is not true. If anything, it made Harvey work harder for Ava. Whatever gets you through the night. The truth is, Edward Darby doesn't make that deal unless you have leverage. You knew Darby couldn't lose because Stephen Huntley's murders would be discovered. Isn't that correct? No, it isn't. So, prior to her trial starting, you didn't know that Stephen Huntley orchestrated those murders? No, I didn't. What if I told you I have evidence that you did? I'd say you're full of And whether he knew or not is irrelevant since Edward Darby stipulated that he knew, making Mr. Spector liable anyway. Oh, it's relevant. Because two days ago, Mr. Spector tried to cut a deal to split off from Edward Darby behind your back. Oh, I see. Harvey didn't tell you. If Harvey had told me, it wouldn't be going behind my back. And I'm not going to blame him for doing what's in his nature any more than I'd blame you for being an asshole. Ooh, feisty and hot. Now I get why he can't stay away from you. Tanner, the last time Harvey knocked you out, you don't start acting like a human being this time gonna have to deal with me. Hey, I'm not the one who screwed my old girlfriend while she was engaged. Kind of a dick move, Harv. That's enough. Wait, wait, wait a second. How come she jumped in and you didn't? She didn't tell you she was engaged. You can't trust the hot ones. Come after me, Tanner. That's what you're here for. Oh, 
I get it. You actually care about her. I think I've gotten everything I need right now. But since it was so much fun, I'm going to go ahead and reserve the right to do this again. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry you had to sit through that personal attack. Oh, you think that's what I'm pissed about? You tried to cut a deal that would screw Edward and me in the process. I tried to include you. You said no. Oh, you think that makes it any better? Scotty, all this is is Tanner trying to get us to fight among ourselves. Well, he's doing a damn good job of it. You think he didn't say some things in there that got to me too? Well, I'm not bringing them up because right now we need to stick together. Sticking together means telling the truth. So tell me, whose idea was it to cut that deal? Yours or Jessica's? It was hers. And I didn't want to go behind your back just like you didn't want to go behind Darby's. But I did because in the end, I knew I didn't have a choice. And neither do you. You just haven't seen that yet. Hello, Scotty. Tanner, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came to bring you a coffee in the morning. After meeting you, I'd say there's an 80% chance there's a roofie in there. <laughs> no roofie. Just a skinny vanilla latte with extra whip and a shot of caramel. You looked up my favorite drink? It's all part of the package. You're here to split me off from Harvey? Oh, he did the same to you. And you wouldn't even know about it if it weren't for me. You're a regular Mother Teresa. Look, I just came to tell you that we can take it easy on you. You'll just maybe say that Harvey knew about Stephen Huntley two months ago. That would be a lie. Maybe it would just be conjecture presented as fact. Okay, look, I'm gonna say it because you already know it. I betrayed Harvey once. It's never going to happen again. Okay, well, then I'll just have to hear your side of the story at your deposition. Miss Scott, to your knowledge, did Harvey Specter want this merger? No, he didn't. And did you try to force it on him because you'd lost to him numerous times and you wanted to get him back? You're the only one who's trying to get Harvey back for losing, Tanner. And I'm about to be successful. Isn't it true that while you were engaged, you came to New York and slept with Harvey Specter in an attempt to get him to tell you he loved you and he said no? That is utter conjecture. That's why we have these depositions, so I can ask questions about things I'm conjecturing. You're not asking questions, you're throwing mud. Am I? The facts are you had a relationship with him in law school. You worked a case against him and shortly thereafter ended your relationship it doesn't take a rocket scientist to connect the dots. Tanner, did you really think that you could domesticate him? A house in Westchester, Harvey flipping burgers on the weekends? What kind of fantasy land were you living in? Tanner, that's enough. She's not answering this line of questioning. Then I'll answer it for her. You loved him, he spurned you, and you set this whole thing up to get him back. That's insane. Which part? That you loved him? That he spurned you? Nothing? Well, I guess they're both true. We're just not supposed to believe that you set this merger up out of anger because you knew what was coming down the pike. I had no idea what was coming down the pike. Oh, so you're telling me that Edward Darby knew, but his number two didn't know? I was not the only one that Edward Darby relied on. He relied on Stephen Hunley for what happened in the EIR, and they both kept it from me. Then why am I holding this affidavit with Stephen Huntley's name on it stating you knew everything? Because he's a lying son of a bitch. You're a piece of sh and this is the end of this deposition. 